Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now many of us are working from home, going to school from home, and video quality is essential when it comes to communicating a professional image. Now also, if you are a content creator and you're looking to step up your video quality and doing it in a very simple way, regardless of where the content's gonna be placed, if you're looking to get great 4K content, then this is gonna be the video for you. And it can be done very simply with this solution. This is the Insta360 Link. This is a 4K AI powered camera that is going to step up the video quality in your home. Matter of fact, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now this video that you see right now is coming from the Insta360 link. We're gonna talk about this product, we're gonna look at the features, we're gonna see the specs and why you'd be interested in it, and we're also gonna go through video quality samples like the one you see here. So let's get right to it. First thing that you have to understand is that this is no ordinary camera. This is an AI powered webcam that is going to have a lot of intelligence that's gonna step up the video quality and audio quality of the content you create using this webcam. Now, it is 4K capable or, or has 4K quality at 30 frames per second. And the great thing about this is that it's not gonna do any kind of cropping, right? So it's not gonna make the image smaller as you switch from a lower resolution to a higher resolution. In addition to this, for the first time, I have never seen this in a webcam. This webcam also features a gimbal-like three access solution. So basically, it looks like a little gimbal, uh, so it's not a fixed, um, a fixed lens that's inside of a little box that kind of tries to track you, but it actually moves around using this gimbal feature. It has a great sensor that is very large and it's gonna capture a lot of light. It's gonna give you the quality that you see right here. And it's again, gonna, I would say, it's gonna rival in many cases a DSLR. Uh, it also supports gesture controls, which means using your hands, I'm not gonna raise them because they'll turn on, Basically, you're able to zoom in, you're able to zoom out, you're able to tell it to track you and follow you. So there's a lot of cool features here. And also, in addition to that, there are what I would call true focus capabilities, or, or what they call true focus capabilities. Let me show you. I'm gonna put this right here, and notice how clean that image is. You see how quickly that went into focus? Let's do it again. This is gonna be extreme close up, and you can see what the quality looks like right there. If we wanted to look at text, we're gonna put the text right there. We'll put it on the side. Look how clean that image is, right? This is that true focus, the ability to get in, get out, and give you that great quality that we're talking about. It also has HDR modes that are available for any other resolutions with the exception of the 4K resolution that you see me now. In addition to that, you have this desk view, which is great for educators or if you're working in a business and even a content creator like myself, where you often show what's on your desk to the person that's on the webcast. So it shifts down and it focuses on your desk and it gives you a great perspective without having to have two cameras, like a top-down camera, you can do that all with a single one. It has a whiteboard mode, and the whiteboard mode basically allows you to focus on a whiteboard that may be behind you, and it will zoom into that and then allow you to just talk about maybe some drawings, some code, some illustration, some advertising that you're working on, on a whiteboard, especially when you're working from home. It has also the portrait mode, which is what you see a lot for Instagram and TikTok, where instead of watching the video this way, it's kind of like this way. And typically what you end up doing is, you know, getting your camera, flipping it on the side. This one, because it's a gimbal, it switches itself and it does that really nicely. Uh, so that portrait mode is great. And then right now, what you hear me speaking through is this specific camera. So what we're gonna do is gonna switch back to the other camera so you can hear the difference. Now, this audio and this video is coming from my DSLR. We're gonna switch back. So now we're back to the, again, Insta360 link, and this is what the audio will sound like through this dual noise canceling mic solution. Let's take a closer look at the product. We'll check out again the physical aspects of it. We'll do additional testing because I'm telling you, this is gonna be your next webcam. As part of this unboxing, we're gonna also talk about this mini tripod that we received. And as you can see here, we have a lot of things going on here. So here we have um, the USB-C cable with a USB-A to USB-C uh, adapter. We'll put that aside. You have some markers that you're gonna use with that whiteboard. This helps the uh, camera find the whiteboard. You have the tripod, which is really long. You can see how nicely it extends. It has kind of like GoPro mounts. And then you have the camera here, which is where all the magic is happening. You can see that's very much a gimbal with USB-C connector in the back. And then you have this mounting that goes on your laptop, which by the way, you can also then use with this tripod, which is what I've been doing. 
gives you some really good extension so you can see how uh, long that is and you can see how tall that is right it almost comes to the same height as my as I would say my DSLR and it has these legs that open it up so as you extend this out which is going to be great if you're in a conference room in a meeting place or in a hotel room now let's take a look at the app because the app has a lot of features that I just want to share with you uh, so here you can see my image right so I'm coming across uh, on the screen and you can see that you have different resolution modes. And I wanna switch the resolutions first of all so you can see the difference in the quality. We're gonna go from what we have is 4K to a different mode and it's gonna take a couple seconds. Notice how it got darker, right? Just because of the different quality. And then you can go down one step further uh, to 720p. And again, here you have it. I'm gonna go back all the way up to uh, 4K. Image pops out a lot more. Now you have some zoom options here that I just want to show you, right? So if I press this button here, um, it's going to go into a zoom. If I press this button here, it comes out. And it's because this is something that I defined right here. So what you could do is you can um, crop in if you'd like, right, as far as you want. And then you can actually save this as a setting just by hitting plus. You can also then uh, modify or, or, you know, delete this one. So if I come in here, you can go ahead and rename it or uh, make some changes and update based on the settings you have right here. But this gives you the ability to do a lot, right? So you can shift a little bit over to the left if you want to or to the right uh, to get to, to the position that you'd like. So it has a lot of uh, flexibility when it comes to that. I'm going to go back to, to that setting right there. You go into the image settings and here you have full flexibility when it comes to controlling everything that you have um, here. You notice that you have the white balance, you have the brightness, you have the contrast, saturation, sharpness, and then you can save anything as a preset. So these I've adjusted to kind of fit the mood of what I have in my studio because I kind of like the kind of like sunrise kind of look with the colors behind me and that gives me that uh, you know the feature, the feature that I like and then you have that auto exposure. Here you can determine the gestures so you notice palm is going to be auto tracking uh, L is going to be zoom. Um, also adjust the AI zoom. So right now I have it because I'm looking for the headshot view, which is what you see right here, and you see that taking place. Over here, what I can do then is go um, to half body or I can do full body, which is going to be great if you're doing, let's say, if you're like an instructor that's showing how to dance or if you're showing some workouts, right? So that's something you can do. You have anti-flicker, you have tracking speed, that's how fast does it track you, autofocus or manual focus. Um, you have the streamer mode as well that you can use, right? And so this is going to enable the portrait mode. So if you do that streamer mode, the camera is going to switch and it's going to give you more of that look um, like that. Now, in addition to the streamer mode, you do have HDR, you have mirror image, and you have your firmware and your serial number information over here. Um, you do have some preferences that you can go into. So this is where the files are going to be saved um, and also where your pictures are going to be saved as well. Here you have various settings that we're going to try out a little bit later. But here you have that tracking that you can turn on. Uh, you have whiteboard mode. Uh, this is going to be the overhead mode. And then this is going to be the mode um, that's going to be the desktop view, which is going to focus uh, downward. So let me just show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn on auto tracking just for a second. So I'm going to bring my palm up. And now the auto, auto tracking is on. And I'm going to go over this way a little bit. And see how it goes that way. And I'm going to go this way. And I keep on going, and it keeps on going with me. And if I go this way, it will stop right there. Isn't that cool? To stop auto tracking. All right, so now auto tracking is off. And then what I could do is to get back to my uh, settings that I had earlier, I can just push that button, and I can get into whichever zoom position I wanted to get into. So you saw how, how quickly that was. Um, I could also use, if I wanted to, I can use that zoom function. So I'm going to come out a little bit. I'm going to pop out. And then I'm going to use the gesture, and it's going to be the L sign. So I'm going to put the hand right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. And that's the zoom. If I come down, it zooms out. Now the next feature we're going to talk about is the desk view. And that's the view where it's going to be able to capture what is on your desk. And this is going to be great for meetings. Also, if you're a content creator like myself, and I'm always showing something on my desk, this is going to give you a really great way to show that. Now, all we did is we simply clicked on the button that allows us to see the desk view, and you can see that uh, here. And then the next thing we did is uh, 
just put things on our desk. And what I wanted to show you is the actual range. So there's two cameras going on right now. I have my overhead camera, and I want you to see that in my overhead camera, I have a tablet here, right? That's simulating, or a laptop, right? And you can see how much the keyboard is. And then you can see where I have my, the devices that I'm showing right here, right? I have a controller that's gonna, for, uh, for gaming. I have some of the Samsung Galaxy uh, Fit and the Fold 4. And then I have the box with some accessories that came with the Insta360 Link. Now, the thing that's really impressive about this is how much distance it gives you. So this is gonna be great for someone who has a laptop and has um, something in front of them because obviously it's, this is gonna be a companion device. And I literally, if you take a look at my overhead shot, I'm gonna bring my, trace my hand this way. And I just wanna show you how, how much is being captured, right? I'm bringing it over. It is actually going beyond my laptop and the actual, I would say camera is about three inches behind my my monitor for my laptop here. So notice the end here, right? Now add about three more inches. That's how far back this camera is. And it is able to, again, traverse over my laptop and just show this. The cool thing about this and the reason why I wanted to highlight this and why I was so surprised with this is that, let's face it, a lot of us are using a laptop. So when you're doing this overhead shot with any of your teammates or if you're doing a presentation like I am, something like this, you don't have to worry about your laptop being in the shot. This is what's so cool about it. So look, it avoids it completely. And not only does it avoid it completely, but I have a lot of space here. It's actually just shooting all the stuff that I have on the floor because it has this much room. Now, and also what I like about it is how it's flipped it over the orientation. So here I have this item and I'm gonna bring it up to the camera and let me see if I can do this right. There you go. Look at, look at what I'm doing right there. And I'm gonna bring it down this way, all right? So I kept it on focus. I'm gonna bring this item to the camera. Let's see if I can do this. I need, need to practice a little bit, all right? We're gonna see, if, is this something that's gonna be legible, all right? I'm gonna bring that up and see if it focuses. The white balance is a little bit off, I think. Let's see, I'm looking at the side. There you go. So you can see how that's going, all right? And then here I have uh, this phone. But for presentation purposes, right? So if like the stuff that I do, if I'm gonna be talking about this device, I can talk about it, I can point it like this, I can basically talk about the controls, how it has a cooling pad in the back, show everything that's going on in the back. And what I like about it is that it's rotated in the way that I need it to be. So this gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to work or content creation. Now we're testing the Insta360 link in a larger room. And you're probably gonna get some echo. That's really unavoidable. I'm not using a standard mic. I'm actually using the onboard mics that you have in the Insta360 link. And we're gonna test out the whiteboard mode. And you can see that I have this little whiteboard here on the side. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into tracking mode because I wanna see how the tracking mode is gonna do with me here. And you notice how I zoomed in. I'm gonna turn this way a little bit. It's gonna follow me. I'm gonna try to get it lost. Ooh, that's gonna make you dizzy. <laughs> so uh, the tracking works really well. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, test out the whiteboard mode. Now, the whiteboard mode is, is great, especially um, if you're working from home or going to school from home. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that. And the goal of the whiteboard mode is that it's gonna give you kind of like uh, the view of the whiteboard that I have right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to that now. Uh, the camera is blinking yellow and it's moving now automatically to the whiteboard. And you'll notice that I have those markers on the whiteboard, which come off and come on uh, pretty easy. You zoom in, boom, right to it. Now, this is a really old whiteboard. It took me a while to find one uh, in the house uh, and uh, it's actually in the basement in, uh, in our crawl space. But you can see that it did a really good job. So if I put my hand on it, you know, I could go through this whiteboard I um, can uh, show people uh, the points that I have here. This actually is the points about Insta360 link uh, features, and it goes through each one of the bullets that we've covered here. And I love the way that it kind of just zoomed into it automatically, given the markers that it has and how it did that perfect placement. Obviously, if you wanted uh, not to include this bottom portion right here, you could actually bring these markers up, which you know I would highly advise that you keep these little plastic pieces or, or sheets because you'll be able to take them off and then put them back on this to reuse. Uh, in that case, it's really important that you have um, a really nice, I would say, clean surface to work from.
Now this next mode that you're looking at is the overhead mode. And what I do is also on the channel is a lot of 3D printing. And these are some cubes that we're going through a test. This is a printer that has not been released yet. So I'm doing some testing and showing how the quality of a slow, normal, fast, and then the super fast mode is being affected by the actual speed. So this comes in really handy when I am doing um, any kind of troubleshooting or I'm working with a with another brand, right, that is trying to understand what trouble I'm having with a specific uh, device that I'm testing. So I like the way I can just use this as an overhead. I'm still using the same, uh, the same, uh, I'd say, mini pod, mini tripod that you saw that I was using earlier is what I'm using right here. I could get something that is larger, something that connects to this, to this uh, table, and then that way the legs are out of the way, but you can see the kind of capabilities that we have here. Uh, for those of you running, this is a clear table, so that's why you can see kind of like the chair right there. But this is what this feature looks like, and again, it gives you a lot of flexibility to use this in a variety of ways. This is a very practical way for me to use it. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Insta360 Link. See you in the next video.